Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm with my boy Marco and today we're going to do some fluid art. Uh, Marco's gotten into doing this over six months now. Yeah. And wow. uh, it came out really cool. He's on Instagram. I'll put the, uh, his handle in the description below. Uh, check him out. It's really dope. Uh, and I'm fortunate enough today for him to show me and I'm actually going to do one. So it'll be dope guys. Let's see how this goes. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> So there's different methods in this, yeah. right? This, there's various methods. And right. so what's like one type of way that you could do this? All right, so you can do a dirty pour, okay. which is you, you mix all colors in one cup mm -hmm. and you flip it onto the cup. Okay. You, you think, I mean, on the canvas. And once you flip it on the canvas, you, you, you let it sit for like a couple seconds okay. and then you flip the cup. Like that, fast that, way you have, that way you have, it, you take it slowly, but that way you have no control over like so like the colors just going yeah everywhere. It, it's just basically gonna be like a reaction of of the colors, the pigments, and everything. Nice. And then you manipulate it the way you want it to. And like move the camera yeah. or something. Like that. Okay. And but, then there's another way. And then you can also do a just a regular pour, where you pour every cup, I mean every color individually. Okay. And um, now when you have more control of the way the outcome is gonna come out. Mm -hmm. It, it just, you know, it's, it's not as abstract, you know? Right, okay, cool. Um, yeah. I like the idea of the just the pour, just to see yeah. where the colors go. Yeah, But But um, I feel like there's some more creative control with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that sounds a lot more yeah. fun, so. And if the the dirty pour is where you get the cool, like, cells, yeah. and, like, it gets more, more depth, more control, like, more details, you know? Okay, cool. More cool effects. Since I became an artist, yeah. when, like, Actually, it's still like it's hard. It's hard for me to say I'm an artist, you know. Yeah. You'll be like, yo, I'm an artist and stuff, it, and it feels weird to me. But why? Um, cause yeah, since I know I know Marco since we, since high school, so yeah. it's like first time we see always each other. been doing graffiti and stuff like. Yeah, I've I've been doing art since a young kid. I remember my second grade teacher. I remember like vividly where he would he took a sketchbook and he drew a, a bird, and I remember like being fascinated by that like because there's so much detail and everything mm -hmm. and ever since that I was like um I was like art and all that stuff and I used to be home and paint I used to draw um The Simpsons <laughs> and I used to watch The Simpsons all the time and so I would, I'd be home drawing Bart and you know yeah. and um and then as I got older I, I tried to, that transition to like you know doing street art graffiti yeah. and stuff and um so that, you can't be doing that for too long, you know. Yeah. You run into problems with that. Yeah. So I stopped that. I got in some trouble, and that that took me away from art for a little while. Right, right. And um, but I always like always had an eye for art. I was like love art. I appreciated art, in in all forms, you know. Yeah. I remember, like la around last year, mm -hmm. I, I started. I followed a bunch of artists on on all the social media. Right. And um, I. I started watching videos of people doing fluid art, okay. and I remember thinking like, yo, this is dope, I can do this. Like, so you self taught yourself how to do yeah, this? Yeah, right. basically. Nice. I did like one online, the research, how, yeah. how people do it. And um, and, and like, like every one of these is different, you can't make yeah, the yeah. same exact one. Every so single that's one, what's really cool about these things. Every single one is unique. It's unique and, and um, yeah. yeah, like every single time I, I do one of these paintings, mm -hmm. It's like a learning experience, you know, because yeah, I, I don't know the yeah. outcome. I don't never know. I never know what's gonna come out. I don't know if it's gonna be a, a bust or it's gonna be like a, a, yeah. a beautiful painting. But even as a bust, like it's still gonna be like, yo, yeah, that's yeah. still pretty dope. Yeah. No, yeah, and to art is one of those things where it's universal in a way where it can be hideous to you, but like yeah. somebody can appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. So that's the best thing about art. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So what is this that you added here? This is a flow trial. This is it. Basically, it's made to um thin out um house paint mm -hmm. for like various reasons, you know, okay. like whatever you gotta do. But it's just like a, they have like high quality um paint, like um like um like flow chart, like paint thinner. Yeah. It's like a, a medium. I use that as a medium for the paint, so I can thin out and stuff. Mm -hmm. Does and it I, give it? Does it make it look different? Um, with, with, it depends on the quality of the paint used. Okay. Like if if the paint used is not very high pigmented, mm -hmm. pigmented, is it's gonna like dilute it and it's gonna become a little wider. Mm -hmm. But it just um with experience, like you learn. Yeah. It's trial yeah. and error. Everything is trial and error. Right. So. Nice. Yeah. All right, so that's why I gotta add. Got my colors here ready. Just gonna add the flow troll. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Yeah. So you're gonna add the flow troll, 
Uh, you want to add two times as much as what you put in there. Okay. So, yeah, if you want, if you want. Bring it up to like, yeah, right there. Yeah. You see how like it's, it made so it, it made it more. Should like, I do one by one and not put the full throw on all no, of them and then you, start? You can do um, you can pour in all of it just so you can get it out of the way. Right. Okay. Because you're gonna, as it go on, you're gonna keep pouring more and more, you know. So we get to that right so, consistency. Yeah, that's fine. Good. If you're gonna always add more. Yeah. So, your mom been doing this for a year now? This yeah, so happened. actually, funny thing is my mom has been doing these and she got really into it. And then when I saw Marco post that, he started doing them. Yeah. So like, yeah, I definitely gotta have them on and uh, we gotta do one. Yeah, man. So it's really cool. I just, I love how um, the colors look. For me, anytime I see one, I think it would be like a perfect tile in like a bathroom yeah. or in your home or as a furniture piece. It looks so cool. Is is it has like a good marbling? It's effect. like a marble feel. Yeah. yeah. All right. So then, now you want to make sure you get the size. Make sure so you get you, all around that. Yeah, that's cool, right? You see it? Wow. I love cool. I love when it changes the color and it, yeah. it comes it becomes like bright. <laughs> that's so cool. Colors, man. Colors is dope. What's your favorite color? Green. Ever, ever, um, like, since you were a kid? Yeah, it, you, since I was a kid. You think there's a reason for that? or? I have no idea. <laughs> well, are there reasons for why you have favorite colors? You're just like, yo, I, I really like this color. I mean, there's definitely influences, Yeah. you know? But yeah, it's true. My favorite color is purple. Purple. Is that because of Barney? Could be. Yeah. Could be. Maybe that's why like you like me too. Yeah, this is like Barney. Barney's a shit. <laughs> Pop up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. hmm? he's gonna, he's show it like right now. So after um the first one is dry. Um, they gotta dry really fully, right? Yeah. So this is the finished product after adding, what do you add to give it this shine? So I add resin epoxy, and after, I, I, I let it dry out for the acrylic paint for like about 24 hours, and after that, I I prepare my resin, and I pour it on top, and that's what gives it this, this high gloss finish. Look at that. Hopefully you can see in the camera. In person, is it looks yeah. beautiful, super smooth, yeah, really nice. And um, that takes about three days to um to cure. That's why we couldn't do it today. Yeah. But after three days, it will be like the final product, and you get this nice, beautiful, nice and, and glossy finish. Nice. This this piece is still available. Yeah. So if you're interested. It'll be a beautiful gift for anybody. Just um, Matthew will put the my Instagram, in my Instagram, all my my contacts. So send me up. Nice. Well, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. We are here with the finished products, man. Um, 
I had so much fun. Thank you, Marco. This is this was <laughs> nah, awesome. No I'm glad Anytime. you taught me how to do this. Thanks for having me. There's so much creative control. Like I said, guys, the supplies are cheap. You could do this less than 20 bucks, yeah. maybe 20 bucks. Uh, and you could, I mean, obviously, the more money you spend, the higher quality it'll be. But like, it's so much fun to do. I highly recommend it. And the creative control you have. Even if you like, oh, I'm not an artist, I don't know how to do it, you don't, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> it, doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't, like, anybody can do this. Anyone can do this, and it will always come out amazing. Um, it was so much fun. Nah, thanks for having me. Yeah, this was really dope. Uh, check him out on Instagram. He has a lot more stuff on there, a lot yeah. more stuff coming. A lot of, um, if you know anybody yeah. who can use had any boring walls in the house <laughs> yeah can use something cool especially and so the cool thing about this was um so in the trays there's like access paint that are, that comes left over and we have here some uh like i took some baseball cards and basketball cards and i dipped them in there and so like if you have business cards just get blank business cards yep. and you could dip them and like and they'll come out awesome take your light switch in your house and change it from that boring <laughs> white or whatever color and lighten up your room with some of this and exactly. it'll look amazing it'll look amazing make it unique make it unique yeah it was so much yeah. fun again <laughs> this is really dope no, yo, I had a great time thank you guys for watching like and subscribe I'm Matthew this is Marco peace, peace.